Hello, this is Dr. Gackman here, uh, doing another series of videos. Uh, I'm going to continue these uh, at the end of each month. This will be for <laughs> this month, uh, August, um, since we're near the end of the month. You don't care about that. This video is actually going to be for game swap goodies. Now, when I ba back when I had my um, Facebook, I had a... Uh, a photo album that was just I took pictures and and a lot of these will be from that um, well maybe some of these I, I don't know if, if all a lot of them are regardless uh, let's just start here is uh, Rick and Morty season 3 and now note a that the prices that are on here now may be different uh, and that these items are probably not at the store anymore these are uh, just Giving you an example of the great stuff that we get at GameSwap. Uh, movies, toys, uh, comics, video games. Great stuff we get there. And some from time to time I just take pictures and just to show it off. This is uh, my friend. She, um, Pokemon Balloons, I play Pokemon Go with. Uh, she had given this to us <clears throat> to sell. We support local stuff at GameSwap, and she makes earrings, berets, all kinds of jewelry, trinkets and stuff, uh, Pokemon related. She's given us other <clears throat> non-Pokemon related stuff, but these pictures will be completely random too, depending on you know when when I took them. This is the, uh, the gold cartridge of uh, Ocarina of Time in the box. Um, these I bought for a friend. Those were from Pokemon Balloons. Uh, she made them, but I bought them for a different friend. <clears throat> and here's some more. This was something that she specially made. Now, she has an Instagram. Uh, I think it's Pokemon underscore Balloons. She makes balloon animals that are in the shape of Pokemon. Um, but she also does other projects, too, uh, with her and her mom. Um... Yeah, cool stuff here. Uh, you could also see here there's a question block and other Mario stuff right here uh, on a charm that she made. Uh, Streets of Fire. Uh, my friend Sarah, she really got me into that. <laughs> and it was funny because she brought um, that over. <clears throat> and then boom, wouldn't you know, I got the... Uh, there's the soundtrack at work, so that was kind of funny that it was weird that it came in around the same time. Um, Streets of Fire is awesome. You guys need to see it. Um, these were for... What were they? Battlestar Galactica original toys? Uh, somebody was trying to sell them to us. This was... These... Again, a lot of these pictures are from months ago. Um, maybe even well over a year because it's been over a year since I've gotten rid of my Facebook. Some of these are from Facebook when I posted them on there and some aren't. Uh, Lord of the Rings, I think this is, I always get them mixed up. Sauron, I think this is Sauron. Uh, we've been getting in lots of Nintendo Power magazines since I took this picture and just here's a picture of that. <laughs> here's some uh, dowels that we got. <laughs> Uh, months ago, a lot of this stuff is already sold, if not all of it. But uh, it was a collector that had a bunch of these um, girl action figures. There's Charlie's Angels. There's uh, Bride of Frankenstein. Uh, Tomb Raider ones. There's uh, Drew Carey. <laughs> uh, Jesse Ventura. That's Xenia. <laughs> Warrior Princess. <laughs> Uh, these are some Marvel, um, I think they're called uh, Marvel Legends uh, figures. These were, um, I think one of them was a Build-A-Figure. So you had to collect a bunch of other ones to get them all together. Maybe they're all Build-A-Figures because they're, they're pretty big. There's Hulk, there's Ragnarok, Hulk, and there's uh, the Hulkbuster Iron Man. Uh, Dead Zone... Not too sure why I took a picture of that, but there's that. Cog and Flame. I think this was a um, 
local comic. Not too sure. Uh, Prime. These were some... Uh, and some Transformers here. Uh, these were some... Um, let me see the price. Uh, it, doesn't, it just says miscellaneous toys. Uh, some figures that we had gotten in. This uh, was given to me. That was nice. Uh, no, wait a minute. Actually, I bought it. Um, but I asked um, somebody else before I bought it, just in case they wanted it. And this was actually the Infinity War. As you can see, there's Galactus and Silver Surfer. Uh, they got the X-Men involved. Sinister. Um, there's Adam Warlock, which never even... He's not in the movies yet. So they alluded to him in the second... Um, what was it? Guardians of the Galaxy? Um, regardless, Disney and Marvel Studios hadn't had the rights to all of this stuff yet. But, uh, you know, maybe they might do something. Uh, but there was big stuff with the uh, Infinity Gauntlet. I mean, it was, a, it was a big deal. It was more than just Thanos. It was more than just, you know. But whatever. That's a whole other uh, discussion about comics and stuff. Here's some Disney Infinity figures. And we got Amiibos. And we've got Skylanders. We get those in from time to time. Here's uh, Voltron Force, everybody but uh, Allura. Um, these are all gone, so don't... <laughs> uh, here's some more. Uh, these are old school um, Ewoks from back in the day. Um, this was a Resident Evil setup that I had. There's a Crimson Head. There's the Tyrant. There's Jill, and there's Chris. Um, I think we had like a dog and a couple other things too, but those those sold, of course, right away. And a regular zombie right there. There is some high-profile uh, Super Nintendo games, or higher profile, I should say, especially Maximum Carnage, and we had gotten in some 64 games. These, again, were from months ago, so a lot of these are already gone hate to say, but we get stuff in and out all the time. This is cool. This was uh, the Ghostbusters and Transformers cr crossover. This is uh, Ectotron, or e it's basically Ecto-1 that transforms into a Transformer. <laughs> Ectotron. Parker Lewis can't lose. Man, I'm going to write about this on my blog someday, uh, but man, I really miss that show, and then boom, this guy, he was kind of a jerk. Well, maybe I shouldn't say that, but he, uh, at least he had some cool stuff, though, and he sold it to us. Um, there was a lot of, I shouldn't say that he was a jerk, it was just like, he was bringing, there was like, tons and tons of movies, but most of it was stuff we see all the time, but this, you don't see all the time. Uh, Parker Lewis can't lose. And the second and third season are way more expensive and way harder to get a hold of. I got a hold of them uh, through gray market stuff. Later on, after I watched the uh, first season again, and man, I love that show. Uh, Sky Surfer 1 from Sky Surfer Strike Force. Now, this was like a non posable, non articulated figure. Uh, I want to get these. Uh, the way I have my uh, collection at home is, is like the bottom row of all my DVDs is where I have like, you know shows and movies that have toys that go along with them and um, I kind of want to have the miniature versions of toys so that I can fit more of them there um, but whatever that was at the store uh, this was at the store we had the boxed versions of both of these but I think they're going by now here is Swappy that's our uh, kind of our mascot this was on the uh, back of our uh, business card that's uh Pretty cool. Here's some uh, Game Boy Advance games I filled up uh, a couple months back. Try to always put the Nintendo and like higher profile games and Pokemon games in the uh, Game Boy Advance video uh, on the bottom row. And then 
you know, there's tons of Game Boy Advance games that we got that we can't put out. But if it's Pokemon, if it's like a JRPG, if it's like a remake of an old Super Nintendo classic or whatever, um, those go straight out. Um, high profile games, but the rest of them are like Disney <laughs> kind of crap. But you can take a look at those if you come in. This is one of my favorite covers ever. Um, this is, uh, man, iconic. Of course, it's 90s um, comic books when all of that stuff was flooded everywhere and uh, we were under X-Men craze because of the Fox Kids uh, X-Men cartoon and people <clears throat> people of the lesser comic ilk, like me, were getting into comics again and blah, blah, blah. I, I love that one. This is from uh, Inuyasha. Um, I just found it, it was... a. Uh, Above where all of our plushies were, but I just took a picture of it um, just because I thought it was cute. Um, here's a Quattro game. I think this is Quattro Adventure. These were made from by Comerica. They are um, we get unlicensed games in there all the time. This was a game that we had never had before. It's already gone. Um, Dusty Diamonds All Star Softball, uh, Gunsmoke, and Steel Cage Challenge. Those were games that we hadn't had in a while, and I just took a picture to show co-workers and, and people. Uh, rare that we have this many 360 controllers, or any controllers of this many. Um, I do repairs on some of these. As you can see, they got the rubber had um, rubbed off of the um, analog sticks, so I put on these grips. It's pretty good. Uh, Kaiju Big Battle, you know, in case you don't know about that, you should look that up. It's funny stuff. <clears throat> Didn't know about it until you never know what you're going to find at GameSwap. So here's uh, pictures of Pops. And we got a wall of Pops, including Chase ones and exclusive ones. Uh, and then we got bigger ones over here and themed ones for like Star Wars. Um, yeah, we get CDs in all the time, music. This is... Uh, Coworker said instantly this was a Goku, <laughs> but it is a Japanese exclusive, um, orange and blue, uh, PlayStation 4 controller, but we had it and now it's gone. Um, here's some higher profile PlayStation 4 games that came in, uh, more recently. I think we still have a remake in, um, <clears throat> Predator's already gone and I think Trials of Mana's already gone. Now this, if you didn't know, is, um, Seiken Densetsu 3, which is basically the direct sequel. Well, I shouldn't say direct sequel, but the, the next one after uh, Secret of Mana that was on Super Nintendo. Um, but they updated it with, like, a 3D world and 3D graphics and blah, blah, blah. But it's only single player. Let's leave the reviews for later. Here's some uh, higher profile uh, Turtles figures. We got a uh, Worm, Hothead. Uh, I think his name is Monty Moose. There's the uh, Krang doll back there with uh, the big body. Um, yeah, so I mean, some of these have already sold, but we've been putting in more and more of these into our uh, center case. And there's the party wagon. So, and Shredder's on top. Check them out. Just trying to dominate the, uh, the turtles. There's a turtle cycle right there, too. <laughs> so, yeah, here's a bunch of turtles. Um, and other figures that were just mixed in. These uh, older gentlemen had been bringing us some really cool stuff that their, uh, um, I think their aunt had collected over the years. And I mean, there's all kinds of stuff that we're still in the middle of processing. Uh, some of the stuff has already been processed and put out or been put online because it's expensive stuff, like this uh, space triceraton here. Um, Here's some more, just figures mixed in. Now, again, a lot of this stuff is not ready to go or has been processed and has been put out. There's Commander Dogstar right there from Bucky O'Hare. There's a General uh, Bebop. And there's a uh, Ninja Bebop, a transforming one. General Trag, Super Shredder, all kinds of cool stuff in there, right? Um, I was informing a former employee about this because he was a Cheap Trick fan. Uh, we've gotten these music photo things. 
Um, we get NECA figures in all the time, and this is uh, um, not to be confused with the Double Dragons. This is actually uh, one of them is named Billy, though, I think. It's Billy and Keith. I can't remember what their names are uh, from Contra. So those NECA figures that are made to look like old NES games are awesome. A uh, bunch of Nintendo 64 official controllers. So uh, I went through and tested all of them, and they were good. Our owner brought them to us. He found them in a storage thing that he had from a long time ago. Here's some uh, Nintendo mugs for your drinking pleasures. Come to GameSwap and get those. Um, I learned how to fix... I do repairs, so if you want to bring stuff in, but I... We had some Game Boys. Uh, they were not working. Either the sound was out and or the screen was out. I learned how to fix some things, though. So we had three. I think we're down to one right now. So get them while they're hot. This is... Uh, I don't think that this includes the pictures from uh, this from my Facebook, actually, because there should be a lot more pictures in here. But going to be ending the video soon here. Uh, here's some old school Mario. These are some fuzzy uh, Pokemon um, stickers that were just found randomly. Uh, we'll be putting those out for sale. Um, <clears throat> our owner finally brought us some, uh, um, like we've had Genesis and Mega Drive games. We had a couple of Dreamcast games here. Now these are not high profile games. The more high profile ones go in our uh, uh, front case. Um, those are more expensive ones, the ones that are over $30. Um, but here's some of the cheaper ones. We've got a bunch of Sega CD stuff. Um, I don't know if you can see some of this stuff, but here's, uh, I think it's uh, Stellar Fire, Sylphid. Um, there's some other ones that we need to go through, um, do some repairs on and test. But yeah, I mean, we got Microchasm, we got Jurassic Park. Bunch of sports games, but we also got some other games mixed in there too. We got Bram Stoker's Dracula, Bill Walsh, Big Bill Walsh, uh, and then so it's successive in the rows. You got Master System up here, you got Genesis, and there's some Mega Drives and games in there too. Um, there's Sega CD. Bottom row was the last system that Sega released, which is Dreamcast, and then above that is Saturn. So we got some Saturn games in too. <clears throat> I was uh, attempting to repair a customer's um, uh, Xbox One uh, S, and this, this is the first time I cracked open one of these, and uh, actually they're pretty well built, but something was spilled on the inside of it, and I, it fried. Um, I didn't want to take, I didn't have any thermal paste to, to reapply this, but it was, it was fried. Um, it looks good, and they they cleaned it out pretty good themselves, but then I got more thorough and in-depth in here um, in cleaning this out, but I didn't want to take the cooling system and the um, uh, copper pipes off or the, uh, the heat sink or the fan off because, again, I didn't have thermal paste to reapply on there, but it was fried. I, I, the vents on the Xbox One S, uh, they spilled something straight into it, so... Uh, that sucks for them, but <clears throat> I tried, tried to fix it. I'm going to learn more about fixing that kind of stuff. We got tons of cards in our glass case here, um, but then we also got tons of games. You can't really see a lot there, but it is jam-packed. We've got some higher profile Dreamcast games. We got 3DO, we got some GameCube, not many left. Um, GameCube has been hard to get a hold of, so it's Nintendo 64 stuff. Uh, some higher profile PlayStation uh, 1, 2, 3, and 4 games. Um, we got a, a sealed soundtrack of the River City Girls, which is basically a pseudo-sequel to River City Ransom, <laughs> uh, featuring these uh, girls who idolize, you know, the River City Ransom boys. Um, yeah, and down here in this corner, you'll see there's a Nintendo... Thing and that's what this is. Oh, I meant to flip this picture around, but you can see it. There's some Zelda stickers, and there's some Mario stickers, and there's some Pokemon stickers. Some is fan art, uh, 
but all of them are pretty high quality stickers. Uh, they're three for a dollar. So come on in and uh, check that out. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'm going to do a video series on this. I'm going to do one every month showing the goodies that we've gotten in. And I got plenty of content to put in there because I did not put in my Facebook ones. I'm, I'm going to pull my Facebook ones from years gone by um, and uh, go through those probably next month to get those out of the way. Um, don't have a Facebook anymore, but I'll be doing these videos. So thanks for watching, and uh, come into GameSwap. Feed your nostalgia.